Hello and welcome back to another, another How To Bloke. Today we're going to be doing something with these. Onions. Now, the reason I've got this big bag of onions is because they're cheap. Less than three euros. Three euros for all that. Up. I don't know how many is there, but it's, it's heavy. Anyway, we're going to make some soup with these today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because because uh, chopping the onions takes a while, I'm going to peel these and show you how to chop them. Okay, so I'll back soon. Okay, last onion, last onion. See, that wasn't painful, was it? That wasn't painful to watch because I uh, fast forward. Anyway, now we've got an onions, onions here. Um, have a shoot in there, camera person lady. Now, how many onions each? I reckon, I don't know, three, three onions per portion, which is, uh, which is good. Uh, if you do two, it might not be enough, so do three. Anyway, right, so, so that, that amount there would be good for four people, okay? So, what we're going to need, as well, we're going to need a couple of bay leaves, there. We're going to need a big knob of butter. We're going to need some uh, beef uh, beef uh, stock. Now, with this beef stock, I always use bovril. There, that. Because it's I've never found anything that is better than that. This beef extract, not yeast extract, beef extract. But this 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 gives the best results. I'm sorry, but it does. Apparently they've been making this since uh, well, a long time, 18 something like that. Uh, what else are you going to need? You're going to need, you could put a stock cube in it, beef stock cube, but you don't really need it, you've got that. Okay, um, butter, use butter, you always get best results. I've used margarine before, it doesn't really, you lose a lot of flavour. If you use margarine, uh, it, it works, but it, the, the most flavour comes from the butter. A couple of bay leaves, just give it a, a twang. So. Cutting the onions. That's not super important how you do this, but always don't cut them like that in rings because you know, you're thinking about it on a spoon. So I always cut them like that and then go down like that. Okay? Well, it doesn't really matter how you cut them, but this is easy. It's easy. So we're going to cut all these onions up and we'll come back. So see you in a bit. Right, they're back. Now, I had to reject this onion. It's a bit, it's gone a bit dry, a bit woody, so I'm going to leave that one. But the rest are good. Have a look in here, camera person. Right, ignore that. Bit. Right, so there we are. So that's all the onions, that's all that's in there. Now we're going to put some butter in. How much butter? Well, I'm not a big knob. Right. So how much is a big knob? Well, that's 20, 40, 60, 80. 100 grams, I reckon. That's quite a lot of butter. That's not one portion. That's, there are more onions in there than I thought. So it's probably good for six portions in there. Anyway, we're going to put that the butter in. Now we're going to put a little bit of dash of olive oil in here, a little bit. So I don't burn the onion, uh, burn the butter rather. Okay, so have a look in there, camera person. Right. So we're going to put some uh, black pepper in there now. Now, the pan, put the, keep the pan on a low to medium heat. So not medium, low to medium. What we're trying to do is brown the onions a little bit, make them transparent. So I've got that on a, a two on my electric, on the electric ring. And we're gonna, just going to put the lid on, work on find the lid. Right, that's going to take. That's going to take. Um, that's going to take about I don't know half an hour, maybe or three quarters of an hour. And don't forget, this onion soup is not a quick thing. You can't make it uh, quickly. It, well, you can make it quickly, but it takes a long time to cook. That's what I'm saying. So it's going to take uh, four hours to cook. Okay, so you can't like make this. Unless you go up very early in the morning, you can't make it for lunch really. So you've got to have time to make this and um, time to cook it, not make it. Cook it. Um, now, what you could do, you could, I'm making it on the stove top, 
The reason why I'm doing, I could do it in the slow cooker, but I found that the thing about the slow cooker is, is that by caramelising the onions now like we're doing, a lot of flavour sticks to the bottom of the pan and that's what you need in the soup. Now, if you're going to do it in a slow cooker or crock pot, then you have to take that out and put it in a crock pot. But what you miss, or you can miss, or reduce, is the amount of flavour stuck on the bottom of the pan. So, I tried it both ways. A crock pot is, is okay, um, but the best, I found the best results are on the stove top, so it's up to you. Uh, as again, uh, as I say, the, uh, the, we need some beef extract or some beef stock, good quality beef stock. Stock cubes, no, you, you, can't, you can't do it, the, the same, get the same flavour out of it as with stock cubes. Stock cubes are, you can add one to that if you want, but no point. So what we're going to do, we're going to let that brown, uh, car um, just go transparent rather, and then we'll come back and take it from there. See you in a minute. Right, right, we're back. Now, you just how it looks after about 20 minutes, I suppose. So you can see how the onion there is browning on that. We used to keep it in there for another 20 minutes or so. Just careful not to, um, careful not to burn it. We just need to be translucent. It's nearly there. It's nearly there, but it's gonna, I'd, I'd like to keep it in a little bit longer um, on a low to medium heat, and uh, we'll come back in that time. But whilst we're here, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you. What else I've got going on here? Now this soup here, this onion soup is for tomorrow, but for tonight, uh, I'm going to do a YouTube on this one. This is um, uh, fish pie. Now, the difference with this pie, fish pie is, there's my liquor there, with the herbs and stuff. The, the, this fish pie is cheap to make. Uh, it's got hake in it. I make it with hake because any any other white fish here, including cod, which, is, which I like, is very very expensive. Hake is the cheapest by a long shot. So I use hake. But if you're going to use hake, you need to have some flavour in there because you can't fish flavour. Um, some good fish flavour. So I found the cheapest combo that I can do is I buy a slice of smoked salmon and I mix that with with uh, the hake. Anyway, I'll do a video on that, on that uh, some later point. I can't do two videos a day. It's too much uh, for me to do. <laughs> I've got other things to do, you know. But uh, we're going to come back with the onions in 20 minutes or so. Okay, there we go. Look, that's what it looks, should look like. So that's on a, a, a low to medium heat, so we're halfway between. That's on a number two electric on mine. So what we're going to do is just turn it off for the moment. And we're going to put some black pepper in there. Those little uh, black specks are black pepper. We'll put some more in. And we need a little bit of salt in there. Okay. Now, uh, beef extract. If you're going to put a beef extract in, put the whole pot in. And I don't mean a gallon. I mean a, a mug's worth. You know, a mug worth the whole thing. But because this is this is beef extract, it's more concentrated. So you don't need as much. How much of this stuff? Overall, a tablespoon thereabouts. So I'm guessing that's half a tablespoon. That's a whole tablespoon. Wait a minute. A bit more, just for luck. Right, that'll do. There we get the flavour. The the, the 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 beef extract adds to the flavour. Otherwise, you're going to taste. Uh, it's not beef extract stew or beef uh, beef stew. It's onion soup. So it's got to taste a bit of the onion. So, waste not, want not. This is this is gold dust. This bog rule in this house. I have to hide the bottle, so otherwise it gets uh, it gets put on toast. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so here we are. That's that. Now we've got to let that caramelise. Now what does that mean? It means cook it long and slow, and all the sugar. Another flavour will come out of that onion and you'll see it. Now, we're going to put a little bit of water with that, just a little bit. 
Not much. Yeah, I can like a cup for, I suppose. No more than that. We're going to keep it a little bit super concentrated at the moment, okay? We can always add some more water later, right? We're going to do it. Right. This is important. Your lowest ring, your lowest powered ring, right? Uh, at the lowest setting. So, low. I'm going to cook for four hours. Check it every hour. Make sure it doesn't run out of water. So that's what we're going to do. Now the time now is ten past one. We'll come back at five o'clock and have a look at the finished thing. But don't, don't leave it there for four hours. Every hour or so, just give it a whiz round. Check the water it hasn't dried out. And bung the lid back on. Oh, that's important as well. You've got to put a lid back on it. Don't leave the pan open. So, see you at five o'clock. Hello, we're back. Sorry, we had a bit of trouble yesterday. With the end bit of it, I did it yesterday, but today, Saturday, we're having this. There's only this bit left, look. And that's been reserved for later on as well. Anyway, got a big, uh, big thumbs up from the family, so uh, that's good. As I say, a couple of three things. You don't have to add as much butter as I did half of it, but you do need to add some butter. You don't have to add sugar. I had mine without sugar before I put sugar in there, so it's up to you. But other people uh, liked it with the sugar, but I didn't, so. Um, you can only really make this with good quality beef stock, whether you use bovril or some other thing, or roast your own beef bones, or, you know, I haven't got, I can't be bothered with doing all that stuff. Um, and that's about it. Uh, what onions do you use? Any any old onions, you know. Uh, can could you, you use, um, sorry, could you use red onions or something? Yeah, yeah. they taste the better the onion. I mean, the better the onion. The, you, you can use, uh, you could probably put some, um, uh, what do you call it, shallots in there. Or use yellow onions or red onions or whatever. You could put some garlic in there if you wanted to. But not every dish needs to have garlic in it, does it? Mm, I don't want <laughs> um, So there we are. Hope you like this. Hope you do it. Those cheese, uh, those cheesy toast things, all oh, are a bit of baguette, French bread thing, and uh, with a slice of cheese, mature cheddar on it, or a uh, edam or something. So that's easy to make. You don't want to be pouring over this for hours and hours. You know, it's uh, it's onion soup at the end of the day. Anyway, hope you like, uh, hope you like that. Give us a thumbs up if you if you uh, if you like it. I've got some more recipes here. I've got some quick tips here. I've got some DIY jobbies down here. And if you want to subscribe to me, it's down here. So, until next time.